Hi, I'm Jake for Gaming, and I will be going over my own custom sandbox changes for Destiny 2. This includes PvE and PvP. Okay, so moving to exotic armor, I want to kind of make a change to Promethean Spur. I want to make it to where precision kills while you have full rift energy, it does not consume your rift energy, but it does still create the rift at enemy death. If you kill with a body shot, it will consume your class ability. Next, I will be removing the melee range buff from Ophidian Aspect and Syntheseps. Okay, moving on to the long-awaited Stompy buff. So Stompies will not give you negative 50 airborne effectiveness, but will still have a negative 10 airborne effectiveness. So you can still build into it and counter that. Next, I'm going to be reducing the wall hacks from Kepri String from 64 meters to around 40 meters. I also wanna give a buff to the Apotheosis Veil. So I'm going to be changing the range from 24 meters where your teammates get your abilities from you popping super to around 50 meters. So we're going to be kind of doubling that range. Okay, so I want to buff the armamentarium. So when you get a grenade kill, you suffer reduced grenade regeneration for 5 seconds, but your next grenade has 50% bonus damage. SMGs need to be nerfed. 600 RPMs like Shire's Wrath should be brought down to like 20 to 18 meters of range. 750s like Terraba, um, the new Immortal should be brought down to like 17, 16, 15 meters of range. And uh, 900s like the Funnel Web should be brought down to like 15-ish meters at max. Keep them consistent against like fusions and shotguns. They shouldn't be battling ARs, dude. The, the All right, so let's buff ARs. So 450s and 360s get a bump in base stability. 360s get a bump in stability of like, let's say 20. And 450s get a bump of 10 to 15. Um, 600 ARs, not terrible, but not the greatest. So we're just gonna bump their uh, mag count and their base aim assist. We're gonna give them plus five aim assist. And for 720s, 720s are kind of decent already. So I'm not going to really focus on them this time. All right, so now we're gonna be going into individual exotic buffing. So let's start with the Mita multi-tool. We're gonna increase the high cal back to where it was previously because I think the high cal for Mita got nerfed. We're gonna reinstate that. So it's more viable in dueling. Next, I will be changing it to where you can hold your reload button to change between the modes on Suros Regime. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, like, subscribe, share, and comment, and see you next video. Peace.